Hey guys, welcome to Autodidactic Therapy. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to install ventilations for the dryer and what is up to code and what is not. So what I decided for my laundry room, I basically did a stacked unit before it was on the left hand side right here that I turned into some shelves. You can see that I close up the old vent and that's where the power supply. I replaced my vents right there. And on this side is where we placed the plug for the power for it. This house actually had a coil ventilation, not a straight pipe like the silver one right there. Uh, basically, it's not up to code and it can cause fire I'm gonna show you real quick how that looked all right let's get started they use this line really bad it get clogged up it's not straight that's the old line and that's my new line that I did right here so all I did was go up 90 degrees straight pipe nice and clean all the way out right there this is not up to code, and man, it's clogged up. There we go. See that? It's really bad. I had to pull a bunch of them out, but this is not the proper way. This can actually cause fire. This cannot. Nice and sturdy. I think I used about one, two, three, four. Four straight pipe. It's four inch by five feet and all I did was use a uh, tin tape to seal air won't come out all right I'm gonna show you how to cut these tin vent pipes Milwaukee straight tin cut if you guys need to cut it to length or whatever I'm just showing you this as an example boom you got a nice clean cut uh, I'm gonna show you how to put this together. All right, so since one side's a little bent, I'm gonna go on the opposite side. That way I can push it in. Perfect. And we can just keep squeezing it in. So it also helps when uh, you actually push it down a little bit. Push it down and then squeeze it in. There we go. Push it down, squeeze it in. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. The seam is nice and clean. And now we have to seal it. All right, you always want to use Nashville's tape. It can actually handle a lot of heat or cooling. It's meant for HVAC. This will definitely seal any of the seams. So you won't get any air leak right here. Doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's sealing the seam, you're good. to cut it right where now I got two of these for my project this is called an elbow a right angle elbow all you have to do is turn these to get your elbow any directions you like 90 degrees you can do it straight if you want to by the way it's probably better if you use gloves because these things are really sharp so, there you go straight 90 there's a cramp tool. If you cut it, you can also make this kind of uh, pattern and great indentions. And all you do is just squeeze in, slide it in, and then you tape it with the uh, aluminum tape and you're done. All right, male, female. Slide it in, create your 90 degrees. Patten it down, make sure it's tight, and then you tape it. Boom. What I use is these poly foam backer rods. They're little noodles. And what you do is you squeeze it through any cracks and this prevents any air leak. Um, they use this for windows. It's a great product. I definitely recommend it. I got it on Amazon. 
All right, let's go seal it. Um, you lose a lot of your AC because it's going up in the attic and it's not sealed. All right, let's go ahead and seal it. So all I have to do is squeeze these in. Man, this thing actually really seals it because I'm not feeling any air going through. No mess. You don't have to cock it or anything. Look at this. Pretty amazing. Oh, gee, look at that. Completely sealed all sides. That's pretty much it, guys. Boom, done. I hope uh, good luck on your project. If you think this is valuable, Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.